right, so I've said a whole lot of nothing in the last video, but that's mainly because I want to actually talk about this deck. So here's the thing, right? Uh, some time ago, I was wondering, hey, I wonder, well, what's going to be an easy way to sell in Buster Blader? Because I, I think I was playing a Buster Blader and then didn't do as well. So I think I said, okay, is there a way to easily pendulum summon uh, Buster Blader? And then I later I then found out that uh, people have been making Pendulum Buster Blader decks. And so I looked up uh, an example of a Pendulum based pe uh, Buster Blader deck. And this deck here essentially tries to mimic that, but in, in a dual link setting. Also using cards that I have. So, so I was thinking, okay, so it'd be pretty cool. So I can use, uh, you know, X, you know, rank seven Xyz is alongside with you know Buster Blader, so not just ha uh, I don't know, just fusion summoning, or even synchro summoning. So, yeah. So right now, this is a pendulum based Buster Blader deck. Okay. So one other thing I wanted to mention is that uh, you know the art of Buster Welp to your left, to the left of the screen, right? So. Uh, let's just say, do not look up this little guy on Google Image Search, even with Save Search on. I'm gonna, that's all I'm gonna say about that. You, some people, some people, like, really, like, uh, let's just say they, they take, you know, cute furry things a little too far. Yeah. So anyway, nothing at NSFW, but, uh, something that feels like it. I'm just saying. Don't look up Buster Web on, on Google Images, even with Save Search on. Not, not, not recommended here. Yeah, I was cringing quite a lot just trying to get that image. Anyway. So where were we? All right. Uh, you say dot deck. So, yeah, so I, I was wondering, why am I playing Supreme King Jaden with this deck? Actually, to be honest, I don't remember. They just want to have something with him. I was it because he had a, he had a super poly skill. I don't remember. I think it, because he had a super poly skill. Um... I feel, I feel like having a super poly skill will be really useful against, you know, dragon-based decks like the one you see right before you. Uh, so yeah, I said I wanted to make a, a bust of like future pendulums. And no, like, I wanted to put Dragon Horn Hunter in that deck because, you know, I like to have... Uh, I want to see some more lore based on Dragon Horn Hunter with Buster Blade because their backstories just make too much sense together. Uh, but no, she's just not worth it in this deck. So, that's a bit unfortunate. Also, Dragon Core Hex is also not very good with this day because uh, it's a level 8, so a level 7. So, if it was level 7, maybe I could use it. But, or, you know, just for the, the theming, I guess. Even though it probably wouldn't be good in it because it wouldn't be good as Tuner. Well, anyway. So, yeah. Shooting Star Dragon right off the bat. Because, yeah, you say Dot Deck can use it turn 1. So, uh, Pendulum Call. So, uh... Yeah, so the Pendulum Monsters in in question are the Dragon Pit and Pulse uh, Magicians. Uh, these will be the the prominent Pendulum players for the for this deck. Because I feel like, well, I have them, and they could fit well, I guess. Uh, and I think one is it one of them being a warrior actually worth it? I don't remember. Well, anyway. Now, because I can't summon level, one, can't pendulum summon level one monsters, and plus, like Sage actually does uh, needs noble summon for this. So yeah, uh, but yeah, it was basically easy to pen summon the Buster Blade. And yes, I do have that old, really bad Buster Bleeder search spell, uh, but I feel like it's kind of necessary because like it doesn't search because uh, the other monsters doesn't search exactly Buster Bleeder. So search is like like specific like uh, destruction sword monsters, of uh, which Buster Blade does not retroactively like fit into that archetype. So anyway, because I can't uh, pendulum summon Buster Whelp, uh, and I believe I think was it's a bad idea synchro because of the synchros uh, just isn't good against a, a opponent that's already a dragon. So it was like not really gonna help, I guess. So yeah, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just so much nonsense, so it's like absolute nonsense there with the wall of disruption that's still being used, even though this is still like late last year, but it's still late last year. It's not like, you know, three or even four years ago. This is last year, 
And even that is less than a year. It's like a few months ago. Like, relative, well, even relatively speaking. So, yeah. Now, again, unfortunately, because Buster Blair is not a pendulum monster, I can't pendulum slow him back very easily. Oh, well. But at least I can, st because it's in the graveyard, I can uh, get it off with um, uh, Buster Whelp's effect. Well, anyway. So, what am I going to do now? I can't pendulum summon, really, like, at all. Unless I surprisingly get at a level 7 here. But... Oh yeah, that's why, because I think so has a uh, the super poly spell. So here's what I'm gonna do, right? I use uh, Buster Whelp, uh, get, get Buster Whelp, right, and then use that to get uh, what was it? Oh yeah, the other Buster Blader, and then uh, use Buster Whelp's effect, get it out there, and then summon Buster Blader, I believe from my graveyard, right? Oh uh, yeah, get from my graveyard. And then activate Super Poly. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is why I have Supreme King Jr. in there. So I could fuse up uh, Buster Blader and Shooting Star Dragon. So I don't have to worry about Shooting Star Dragon anymore. So this is the cool thing I have with it. And plus, because of the scars, the other Buster Blader, the, the Switch and Sword Master, if I get Buster Whelp again, I can use it to, br to get uh, the other Buster Blader out from the graveyard. Because it only counts as Buster Blader while, like, not in the deck, while not in the hand. So, it's like in the graveyard, really. So, yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Uh, now, because, uh, now, uh, this uh, Buster Blader fusion cannot attack directly, so I need some other monster to do it for me. Uh, so, unfortunately, I can't do anything right now, because uh, I can't do Petron Call. I can't really, I need to discard, and I don't really have anything else here. So right now I just gotta wait until I get another monster. Or when you say does something stupid. But luckily that's not the case. So you just being smart, you say no that you, this opponent can actually read. Hey look, it's uh Time Gazer Magician. That'll work. So uh so I bring Time Gazer Magician, uh, which just barely has enough attack to actually win. But <laughs> Yeah. You it, it, it could it can can go make it that easy. You have to get the counter gate. So uh, yeah, that's kind of lame. But uh, yeah, the rest of it is it's uh, doesn't take very long because uh, because now it's a monster I can just attack with the Buster Blader fusion. Wow. <laughs> yeah, got jump baited. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, next next set of duels is gonna be the Link Era. So uh, yeah, see you guys later when we see some. You know, maybe some get some link monsters going on.